This next story has really disturbed so many people on the staff here at the, here at the early show and so many dog lovers around the country. An American Airlines flight from Tulsa to Chicago on Tuesday was carrying 14 puppies in the cargo hold. After that plane arrived at O'Hare, seven of the dogs died, apparently from the heat. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg joins us this morning with some advice on flying with pets. Peter, good to have you with us this morning. I would think the number one piece good of morning, advice Rachel. is be careful in the summertime. That's right. It's all about the temperature and the time waiting on the tarmac. Now, in this particular case, the plane took off an hour late from Tulsa. American Airlines has a corporate policy. They will not fly pets in the cargo hold when the ground temperature is above 85 degrees or in the winter months when it's below 45. In this case, the Weather Service is reporting the temperature was actually about 87 degrees and rising by the time that plane took off an hour late. And we've seen what the weather's been like in that area. Dave's been keeping us abreast of that all week long. So, so that's Americans' policy. But across the board, what are the regulations when it comes to traveling with a pet? Because you would think if they're going to take your dog, that it must be okay. Every airline is different. For example, JetBlue and Southwest won't allow any pets to be transported. Uh, Delta has a, a monthly moratorium between uh, May 15th and September 15th. They won't take any pets. And then at other times of the year, their temperature moratorium is nothing above 75 degrees or below 25 degrees. So every airline is different. So definitely something to research. If you do have to travel with a pet, though, I know you have some tips if we're going to be traveling with pets as cargo that are so important. Uh, number one being put some ice cubes in the water dish. Yeah, when you take one of those approved kennels to go in the cargo hold, they have a little water dish. That's totally useless because the amount of jostling that that kennel gets, that water's going to spill before that pet even gets to the plane. So when you get to the airport, put some ice cubes in a Ziploc bag, and right before the time you take that kennel and give it over to the airline, put the ice cubes in that water dish so as the ice melts, the animal at least has a chance uh, to hydrate itself. And one more thing about that, and that's respiratory issues. More than half of the 122 dogs that have died in the last five years, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, were short-faced or pug-nosed dogs like an English bulldog or a pug. Don't ever travel with those in the cargo hold. You also recommend not traveling uh, with animals under 20 pounds in the cargo hold, correct? Right. This is an opportunity for you to actually to take the animal in the cabin with you. But once again, every airline has different regulations. In most cases, they will allow one animal in the cabin per coach business or first class cabin. So in many cases, you can have three dogs in the cabin. But remember, they have to fit under the seat in front of you and you can't take them out during the flight. And what about if you if you do have to fly again with your pet, make sure you say it's nonstop. Take no chances. Yeah, the real danger here is the tarmac because, you know, I have enough trouble connecting on flights when the temperature is bad. So can you imagine what happens to your animal if it's sitting on the tarmac for an hour, two hours, three hours, and that temperature either starts to rise or in the winter months just as dangerous if it starts to drop? Oh, it's just a terrible situation to think of. Your last tip, I know, retrieve that animal immediately. Great tips, Peter. Always good to have you with us. Thanks again.